I'm really enjoying having students. A lot of them think you have to come into it with intuition and your first draft is perfect and your first draft is shite. It always is. <laughs> you have to edit. That's where the that's where the beauty happens. That's where it starts to clump together and become a thing and then it stands up and walks around the room and says, Mama, and you know you have a story. I'm Nalo Hopkinson. I'm a science fiction and fantasy writer. I teach creative writing at the University of California, Riverside, specializing in science fiction and fantasy. There are a couple of classics I read when I was a kid. Dante's uh, Inferno was definitely one of them. And I particularly remember the description when you get down to the final circle of hell. This is Fahrenheit 451, the edition that has the asbestos cover. Samuel R. Delaney's Babel 17. Oh my God. You read a Delaney sentence and then you have to go and sit down and have a meal and take a breath or two. 1818, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. It is thought by some to be the first science fiction novel. It has never been out of print, and the first science fiction novel was written by a woman, Borderland. This was one of the first shared world anthologies. Thomas More's Utopia. This is a 16th century book. I don't want to touch it. I think he was writing a satire. I think he was perhaps quite aware that there is no such thing as the perfect place. So something like this, which is completely imaginative, can get you challenged to think about societal norms and how they could be different. It's a good reminder that human is human right across the century, so we, we didn't get smarter. <laughs> Arguably, we're not. <laughs> I think storytelling is one of the things that is unique to the human animal. It's key to everything we do as a way of entertaining each other, as a way of learning, as a way of understanding each other. If you can't make a good story, you're not going to make a good historian, a good chemist, a good physicist. We need to see change and we need to be able to imagine the change before we can start making it. And that's part of what science fiction and fantasy do. Science fiction and fantasy says, but there's more. What else can we imagine?